Technology is totally transforming how manufacturing organizations throughout the world work, but how exactly is technology impacting manufacturers? That's what I want to talk about here today. My name is Eric Kimberly. I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients throughout the world reach their third stage of digital transformation success. And many of our clients are in the manufacturing space. We work with a number of global manufacturers in all parts of the world. We're finding more and more over time that technology is significantly impacting how manufacturers operate, and it's providing game-changing capabilities that really give them a competitive advantage in the marketplace. You certainly have software technologies like ERP systems. A lot of organizations are going through digital transformations of some sort. You have manufacturing execution systems, you have robotics, robotic process automation, a lot of different technologies that are enabling manufacturers to improve their operations. And I'm not gonna dive into each of those technologies in this video, but what I do wanna talk about in this video are some of the key technologies that are totally changing the way manufacturers operate. And the idea here is to give you some ideas on how you might leverage some of these technologies to define a digital strategy and roadmap to help improve your manufacturing operations. Now, for more information on this topic, I encourage you to download our annual digital transformation report. It's a report we publish each year that provides a number of best practices, tips, and lessons from digital transformations throughout the world. And it also includes a ranking of some of the top leading manufacturing technologies that can help enable digital transformation within your manufacturing organization. So I encourage you to download that report to provide some additional best practices and background information to help you through your digital transformation journey. One of the most important themes that we're seeing within the manufacturing technology space is Industry 4.0. Now I have a video on my YouTube channel, which you can find right here, that talks about what exactly Industry 4.0 is. So I encourage you to look at that video or watch that video if you'd like to learn more detail about Industry 4.0. But to summarize it here, what Industry 4.0 is, is really a way to tie together robotics, manufacturing operations, internet of things, and other technologies to really help automate the end-to-end -end cycle within a manufacturing organization. Some of the key components of Industry 4.0 include manufacturing execution systems, which are technologies that automate and capture data on the shop floor as assembly lines and work in progress is moving through the end-to-end -end business processes. It also includes internet of things to capture data, not only in the sensors and in the shop floor, but potentially in other devices as well. Could be customer devices or other third-party devices and other data points that's integrated into the overall internet of things. And then of course, those are robotics as well. So you have robotics that's automating much of the work that was done manually by humans in manufacturing or producing or assembling different materials. So the good thing with Industry 4.0 is it's really providing a more complete comprehensive view of the end-to-end -end business process from procurement of raw materials all the way through production, manufacturing, warehousing, and ultimately to your end customers. And it's providing better visibility and greater visibility into data throughout that entire end-to-end -end life cycle. And it's also providing automation tools through that end-to-end -to -end life cycle as well. So Industry 4.0 is something that's totally transforming and changing the way technology is used in manufacturing organizations throughout the world. Now, just as Industry 4.0 is transforming the way manufacturers operate their core manufacturing operations, you also have digital supply chains. Supply chains are being automated and being provided with better data, capturing better data, both internally and externally, to allow manufacturing organizations to better plan and predict where raw materials and finished materials need to be at what time. Ever since the pandemic especially, we're seeing here in the 2020s that organizations have a lot of work to do to improve their supply chains and make their supply chains more predictable, more nimble, and more agile. So leading manufacturing organizations are using supply chain technologies to help improve the way that they run their supply chains. And there's a number of different technologies that you can use to enable a digital supply chain, things such as ERP or enterprise resource planning technology. You have core supply chain management solutions that are technologies focused exclusively on supply chain management. 
And there are also other point solutions that can automate just certain parts of your supply chain. So things like procurement software that focuses on really optimizing your procurement process. And you also have transportation management software that manages trucks and logistics of moving your products from warehouses to customers. And then you also have warehouse management technologies that help automate the warehouse itself, the whole pick, pack, and ship, and the cycle counting, physical inventory process. So there are a number of different technologies out there that you have to choose from to help enable a digital supply chain now and in the future. And that's something that we see more and more manufacturing organizations doing here in the 2020s. Another technology trend we're seeing in the manufacturing space is the term called interoperability. And interoperability is a way to describe how multiple systems can talk to one another and provide a cohesive set of business processes and technologies and data sets to automate and provide operations for manufacturing organizations. Now this is especially important for manufacturing organizations, even though it's something we see in other industries as well, because manufacturing organizations are very complex. They have a diverse set of business processes and technologies and data coming from multiple sources that require in many cases a best of breed or multiple technology sort of solution. And while it's possible that you could go find a single enterprise-wide technology like an ERP system to automate most of your manufacturing operations, it's rare that you're gonna find one technology that can automate everything end to end from your procurement all the way through your supply chain management, through the manufacturing and warehouse management, and logistics, all the way to your end customers. So manufacturers more than most industries really rely on this concept of interoperability. And what interoperability entails is making sure that you're open to multiple technologies and at the same time you assess how well those different technologies can talk to one another and integrate into a cohesive solution. Easier said than done, of course, but it is something we're seeing more organizations focus on in the manufacturing space. And the reason that this has become more important and more viable in recent years is because now more than ever you have better integration tools and better platforms to enable this sort of interoperability model. 10 or 20 years ago, it was very painful to go through a deployment with multiple systems because it was so difficult to tie together the integration points and the architecture and the data flow between different systems. But now you have other technologies in the marketplace that enable interoperability better than we have seen in the past. There's products like Palantir, Snowflake, even the Force platform within Salesforce. These are platforms that you can deploy almost like middleware, but different, more advanced version of middleware that can tie together multiple technologies and provide a way to tie together multiple data sets and multiple business processes within your manufacturing operations. So interoperability is one of the key technology trends that we're seeing within the manufacturing space here in the 2020s. Given the potential of technology in the manufacturing space, what it's doing is it's allowing manufacturing organizations to focus more on the end customer experience. It's providing better data, better visibility into what customer needs and wants are, what customer demand is, and really focusing on satisfying that customer demand. In addition to there being more opportunity with technology to provide a better customer experience, you have customer expectations that manufacturers provide more of a consumer level or consumer grade type of experience of interacting with their organizations. In other words, you have a group of customers that are used to dealing with Amazon and Alibaba and social media outlets, really easy to use technologies. They're also used to self-service and they're used to getting what they want when they want it. So customers are largely driving and demanding from manufacturers a different way of operating, a different way of thinking, and a different way of satisfying customer expectations. So the combination of better technologies with increasing demand and requirements from customers themselves is largely what's driving a focus on customer experience within manufacturing organizations. Now, while this isn't by itself a technology trend per se, it is an end result that many manufacturers are focused on achieving with some of the technological trends that I'm talking about in this video so far. Now, all these different technologies that I've talked about so far today are sort of wrapped together with business intelligence. You think about Industry 4.0 and advanced supply chain management and some of the other things I've talked about here today. And what that entails is the capturing of more data. You've got more information, more potential visibility into your operations, into your customer needs, into your overall supply chain. 
but that data is only useful if you have a way to report on it and a way to make meaning from it. So business intelligence tools are a way to complete that loop in the process. So with business intelligence tools, which can either be a standalone business intelligence tool that bolts on to other technologies, or many technologies provide business intelligence modules as part of their core capabilities, you can use these tools either way that can help you have that visibility through better real-time analytics, business intelligence, and other quantitative measures. So business intelligence is something that's totally transforming the way manufacturers operate now versus how they have in the past. So these are just some of the things I encourage you to think about as you think about defining your digital strategy for your manufacturing organization, for more best practices and lessons and ideas and technology reviews that might help you identify some potential software options. I encourage you to download our digital transformation report, which is an annual report we publish each year that provides a number of independent software reviews and rankings of best practices, tips, lessons, all that good stuff that can be a way to complete your research into technology trends in the manufacturing space. So I encourage you to download that white paper in the link below. I've also included links to other resources that I think will help you in your digital transformation journey as well. So I hope you found this information useful and hope you have a great day. My name is Eric Kimberling. I'm the, s <laughs> I forgot my title. Just as industry 4.0 is game changing. Yeah, nope. And there was one more that I forgot. <laughs> yeah, why am I here? Uh, soon my key card's not gonna work. Right. I mean, cause I can't remember what I do here. But how exactly is technology affecting? Uh, nope. nope, nope, that's not it, okay. Do you ever like go through the editing and you edit like what I just did and you're like, damn it, he said to start over <laughs> and yeah. you have to scratch everything you just edited? Cause yeah. I so I encourage you to download that guy <laughs> that enable automated and digitized. <laughs> oh, it's there it is again. Oh, oh no. Both figuratively, <laughs> okay. Products flow within, let me just say that whole thing over. Wow, that <laughs> yeah. was a mess. That was pretty dumb. <laughs> oh my God.